Today we have a ton of news to cover, so let's just get right into it. We have things talking about Halo and Among Us collaboration. E3 2022 has been canceled. A Halo Infinite and TV show crossover is coming. And 343 just finally admits why it's taking so long for these updates to come around. So do you want to know more? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So we have a ton of news to cover today, guys. Some of the stuff I wasn't able to cover because my channel got hacked last week. So if you guys want to help me out and like the video, which really shows that this channel does have a good favor within the YouTube algorithm, leave a comment down below what your thoughts are on the news as well. But let's not waste any more time and get right into those details. So a fun little collaboration going on with Among Us right now, saying the exclusive at Halo Cosmetics just dropped on Among Us for all our Xbox and Microsoft store players so you get a helmet you get the armor and you also get a little guilty spark pet as well that follows you along within the game how about now and get these collab items for free just watch out for any imposters so again here's more content that we all really want as halo players but it's happening in another game kind of like the same thing we have with fortnite as well but this is a pretty cool crossover this actually might get me to play among us if we can maybe get some people on stream to play it definitely would we'll check it out if you want to check out my live streams link in the description down below to twitch which i do stream every tuesday and thursday evening 8 pacific standard there we do cover other halo news as well as play some games so if you want to catch up and play some games with me that's the best time to do it now probably some of the biggest news in gaming that happened last week as well the e3 2022 as physical and digital has been officially canceled for 2022 which definitely threw a lot of people off guard because i'm sure a lot of companies out there were planning for e3 2022 to happen this year and also be able to plan out like different kind of things you want to do for your presentations of various video games and things like that that were going on uh, but basically they just kind of decided that like due to COVID 19 that like it just was too difficult to probably throw this whole thing together but they also do say here that the company that runs uh, E3, the ESA, has started on an official statement with IGN confirming that 2022's cancellation and announcing that E3 will be returning in 2023 with a reinvigorated showcase. So we'll see how the things change a little bit. They might go a little bit more on the digital side of performances or maybe try to integrate with like Sony, EA, Microsoft to try to do more digital performances within the show or something like that because I think that's kind of just where things are kind of heading with that show nowadays. I mean, I still like E3 because it's like all the great stuff happening like within a weekend. It's kind of like gamer Christmas in a way. And I would hate to see it go away, but um, you know, it's I think maybe it's just kind of the sign of the times, right? Where now each person has much more accessibility to present their information and their advertising and also their games because you have the digital platforms you can play through now. Every company can do their own version of a live stream where people definitely will check out things kind of like what we did during 2020. As we are waiting for 2023 news guys I'll make sure to share it on the channel so this is a developing story but I'll let you guys know as soon as anything drops. Now before we get into the next news story I want to say a quick thing from our sponsor today and our sponsor is the BenQ TK700 4K 60Hz gaming projector with a true 4K resolution with a super low 16 millisecond input delay. Though you actually can lower the resolution and up the frame rate up to 240Hz with a 4.16 millisecond delay, which is super quick comes with a gaming mode for detailed clarity and optimal colors in dark spaces. You can have the picture up to 150 inches on your wall right here, which you can see an example, I'm playing Halo 5 at 60 frames per second, a very smooth 60 frames per second by the way, at 4K resolution and this thing is covering up my entire wall and it looks amazing. You can also plug in any Android based streaming device like an Amazon Fire Stick for example and watch whatever you want to watch on it, like say your favorite YouTuber. This projector is great with game consoles, streaming devices, Blu-ray players. You can also attach speakers, which I would highly recommend even though this device does come with speakers on board. Yeah, I would definitely suggest if you're going for a home theater experience, you definitely want to plug in your own speakers for this. You can attach, like I said, speakers, sound bars, amplifiers, hook it right up to your sound system pretty easy right there. And if you're concerned about trying to get the right distance and trying to fill up your screen or anything like that, don't worry, this device has an onboard focus and zoom feature on it. You can see me trying to dial in the perfect settings so I can cover up my entire wall with awesome Halo gaming greatness right there. It also comes with a very intuitive angling tool in there as well that has some software built into it so I can angle it exactly how I need to without having to wiggle around the device a whole lot. Here's an example of what it looks like on my old projector that I had. That was like a cheapy one that we got from Amazon. 
and like it does the job but i can't get the picture as large without us having some serious visual distortion uh, it's also only 1080p it does a decent job on the frame rate but the picture quality is way less there's a lot of chromatic abrasion where like the red and blues don't line up properly but if you guys really want some true home theater experience i definitely would suggest checking out ben q's tk 700 4k 60 hertz gaming projector link in the description and pinned comment down below thank you very much ben q for sending me this product it's awesome community director sketch right here uh did a thing and actually replied to people on reddit when it comes to some of the concerns when it comes to be right before the release of that season one outcome blog update which we did have a video on the channel discussing all the stuff well guys want to check it out you make sure you keep up to date to see what happening in season two uh but they definitely uh did a thing where he replied on reddit and definitely got a ton of dislikes on this negative 82 on the dislike to like ratio so people weren't too happy with the statement and he said right here right now that their focus is on season two and we'll have more to share on that in the coming weeks meanwhile a lot of production planning costing planning, hiring, etc. It's all happening, which doesn't really lend to detailed regular updates. So kind of just admitting that like a lot of stuff that they're doing behind the scenes, that really isn't something that like the players need to know, like hiring and planning and working out cost management, that it's a lot of stuff that they're having to do beyond just like, you know, update the game. So this would be totally the reason why we haven't heard much from 343 since the release of the game, essentially. Uh, saying that we understand that the community is simply out of patience and frankly i think understandably tired of words so i think they're kind of just mentioning that like yeah we have some shortcomings going on right now and we're trying to work our way through it which i understand that i appreciate the clarity and the information there uh but i think a lot of people just like can't handle like hearing like the actual news and what's actually happening on this is pretty much what i figured what was happening throughout this entire time but uh sadly enough people had to download it because it's not what they wanted to hear we did have the season one outcome blog which was great definitely was great to know the information that was going on i kind of wish there was a little bit more happening with season two when it comes to updates uh, but we do have another blog coming out talking about like customization and monetization uh, and all the extra kind of live service-y kind of stuff that will be coming with season two as well which we definitely will be covering here on the channel as soon as that news goes live but do you want some happy halo news well it looks like the halo tv show is according to imdb the most popular show right now which is just so great to see i know a lot of people within the halo community are kind of born between like who the show is for is it really that great or anything like that i mean it's 7.2 in imdb which they're rather conservative with their ratings i think it's a really good show that means that this tv show is actually a pretty dang good one and fun to watch this is beating out things like the last kingdom bridgerton which i know a lot of people like bridgerton uh they got top boy Peaky Blinders, which I've heard is a fantastic show, Beating the Walking Dead, Euphoria, Attack on Titan even, which I know there's a lot of Attack on Titan fans out there as well. Uh, I have no idea how IMDb measures the popularity when it comes to a show in any way, but it's also just great to see that the Halo show is number one according to IMDb, which is so cool to see. Continuing on about the Halo TV show discussion, we had this book that was actually in the first episode called The Dawn of Angels, which was kind of curious whether or not it was an actual book. Turns out some sleuthing fans found some interesting details about this, which reveals a little bit about the character of McKee. And it turns out that it is a book in real life. It was found right here. And a Twitter user said that uh, in the show, McKee was reading a book called Dawn of Angels. The real life book titled it, this is about a girl who was abandoned at a young age and had a hate for the world, which lends itself to interesting insights to McKee about how she was kind of adopted by the Covenant in some way, since she is like a blessed one, right? So that's probably why she had some purpose with the Covenant within the TV show. We'll see how this kind of plays out, but it's kind of a little interesting uh, information to see about the backstory of McKee and see, well, maybe if we've learned more about it within the show. Again, we'll see more once the show goes into its third and fourth, fifth episodes and things like that. I did recently do a review of episode two, kind of comparing and contrasting seen the original lore to the lore of the halo show and just kind of my thoughts on episode two if you guys want to check that out it's up here on the channel and right here it looks like the master chief actor pablo schreiber kind of calls out halo fans a little bit in here kind of like shout out to all the haters kind of moment which i thought was kind of funny and uh definitely 
was a, uh, a fun read here. And I won't bore you with the entire read, I'll read you the part that's kind of the interesting part, saying for all the fans rooting against the home team who hated the show before they saw it, and I disagree with what you're doing. I respect your opinion, and I love you too. Because the truth is, we love the same thing, and I will keep working my ass off each every day to make the show the best version of itself to bring attention and respect to this halo universe we love which i'm like yeah like that's exactly what we have man like there's so many times i see within the halo community that like people are rooting against the home team like you people want this to fail i'm like guys if something this important of halo fails it hits the franchise as a whole. I feel like ultimately we're just being like a giant community of being like, well, the books are better kind of thing. Like that's kind of exactly what we're doing right now, but we're doing like, well, the video game is better than the show. But I think the show as itself is a really fun show and I can't wait to see episode three. And it looks like we're gonna have a bit of a cross promotion actually happening within the Halo Infinite game and the Halo TV show as reported by the Washington Post. And if you scroll down a little bit, it says right here that Halo Infinite will someday feature content and cross marketing with the Paramount Plus series, according to 343 Industries. And this is what Sketch, who were, was part of this article, said. We will have some content that is inspired by the show that will be coming out in the game a little bit further down the road, which I'm assuming he means like season two because season two should launch with May 1st. And I believe the last episode should be launching around like May 19th, if I remember correctly, for the Halo TV show. So there might be a little bit of cross promotion there, which would be relevant. I hate to see all this cross promotion get pushed to season three, where like not very many people are watching the show in that case, but I mean, it's up to 343 how they can kind of get around to this content a little bit faster. Uh, Sketch also says that uh, hopes that the show will become an onboarding for people who are first fans of the show and maybe be interested with the games as well. For example, like my wife and I are watching this show and she's really enjoying the Halo show. She's never played the games, never read any of the books or anything like that, but she's really enjoying the show. Maybe it's because she knows how much I like Halo, but it just goes to show you that this could be a great way to kind of expand the audience of Halo to get them to play the games and get more involved with the media and the franchise as a whole. That's some of the rapid fire news for you guys today, guys. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, remember saying content from it recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.